It's an issue that's growing statewide. While Seattle has long been associated with homelessness, it's also in Bellingham and Olympia. Even rural areas are seeing more. It's mental health, substance abuse, a wide range of social issues, but at its core, much of it is economics. We are short. If you look at our population increase over the last 10 years, we are short 225,000 units simply to provide for the new people in the state of Washington. It's supply and demand, and the price has gone up as the supply is overwhelmed. This is not just about the homeless. It's about people whose rents are going through the roof and will soon be homeless because the rents are going through the roof. Governor Inslee proposing asking the legislature to spend $815 million. That would include $111 million to help families stay in their homes, nearly $500 million to buy motels and create things like tiny home villages to get people off the streets. 51 million focused on getting the homeless off of state highways. But the governor isn't going it alone. Seattle Mayor-elect Bruce Harrell. We've created a new position. It's called the Deputy Mayor of Housing and Homelessness. To Tacoma Mayor Victoria Woodards. I'm especially encouraged by the generous investments the Governor Inslee has proposed to find solutions for individuals living without shelter and to help those who may become homeless from becoming homeless. Now, in the last legislative session, $2 billion was pushed toward dealing with the homeless and other housing issues. Half of that was federal money. About two-thirds of this is also federal relief money that the governor is, that has come to the state of Washington that the governor is proposing to be spent on this issue. Live in Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.